Hey there YouTube, Fran Sopper here. It's Wednesday the 28th of December and we are here in lovely downtown San Francisco at the Weston St. Francis right in Union Square. I am on the 24th floor and this is in a uh, King Deluxe room. It has a pretty terrible view. I mean, it's just too blue. There's no clouds or anything. This would not pass in Portland. I'm just kidding. This view is phenomenal. This is an absolutely gorgeous view. You have a very nice view um, of the bay. You can see a little bit of Union Square, which looks like it's under construction right now anyway, so there's not really anything to see. So there's the view. And here is a view of the room. This is in the tower, which I believe is the more modern of the two towers. So this is not uh, too bad of a room at all. We have obviously the king-size bed. Uh, I have not tested any of the lights yet, so let's do that now. Let's take a look. So we have one, and we have two. That light works. This light, let's see, also works. Looks like these are probably all LED. Let's take a look at... Oh! Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. That doesn't pull out. That's weird. That is a... fake dresser. Okay, I guess that's just meant for a little towel. Uh, that's a first. I have not seen that before. Uh, we have two chairs there, a little end table there. I'm sure you can relatively easily spin those around to look outside. Uh, we have, uh, you know, those little chain pull shades, whatever. Uh, and then, of course, you have the blackout curtains here, which you'll probably want. So I suspect this would be pretty bright still at night. Um, otherwise, there's a power outlet down there, so you could easily do some work there. Although here is the desk over here. There's room for an outlet there, but there is no outlet there. Uh, we have this light, which I have my phone and camera battery, or other camera battery, rather, charging in. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to turn this one on. Both lights work. You have a trash and a recycling bin. Very nice to see separate bins there. Uh, no pull-out drawers or anything for the desk chair. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Sat in it briefly. Wasn't too bad. You have, you know, your um, in-room dining options and that sort of thing. Typical LG hotel TV. The remote looks like it's in okay shape. It could use a little bit of a dust. The TV could actually use a little bit of a dust as well. This is probably the only real storage space I have here, and the doors aren't even aligned. Oh my god, this is super sticky. Wow. That's pretty bad, Weston. Uh, we do have a little mini fridge, which may or may not be on. Okay, yeah, it feels like it's on. Uh, yeah, even this door's sticky. Wow. That's just weird. Uh, we have some pull-out drawers, which look reasonably maintained. Yeah, okay, so only, only knock there besides the doors not aligned is the sticky handles. I mean, look at that, you can see my fingerprints all over it now. That was not wiped down at all. Let's see, we have another power outlet there, which actually brings me back to the desk. There's no power outlet for your laptop if you're using those two power outlets. Yeah, there's one wedged way down there that the lamp is in. I don't know why they did not put an outlet in there. That's odd. Bed looks in good shape. Notice this right away. That's a pretty big chip. Phone also looks pretty dusty. Uh, let's see, time. 
is ahead. It's actually 348, so that's fast. Lights work again. Fake drawer, so I don't know what's up with that. Let's look at the bed. Bed looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. So you have just those two layers. So you've got a duvet cover and a sheet, which looks pretty spotless. So that looks good there. Probably have a selection of pillows. That's pretty light. That's even lighter. Okay, so those guys are kind of firm. So you kind of have some pillow options, but not really many. Alright, we have our thermostat there. I've never heard of an Incom. And it's not an in-wall unit, so there's probably central air. Yep, there we go. Up there. We have a mirror. Howdy. We have the door. With your standard security features. Alright. So that looks good. Light looks good. So here's the plan. So we're here. See, you've got the little peephole, which looks in good shape. This is the closet. Okay, so the hallway controls the closet too. Pretty basic closet there. You have your safe, you have your western robe, ironing board, luggage racks, plenty of hangers, plenty of place, uh, space to put your stuff. One little coat hanger there. So that looks pretty good. Turn that off. And we have the bedroom, or bathroom. Huh, no fan. Interesting, but we do have a light. Power outlet, plenty of towels, plenty of light. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, looks like it could use a little bit of dusting, a little bit of a wipe, and a little touch up. That room otherwise looks good. That'll do it for now. Alright, so it's now the evening. It's 11.30, so it's still technically the 28th for a couple more minutes, and some more things that I have noticed uh, about the room. Now, I've been out and about most of the day, so I still haven't really given the room a very big look over. Uh, and I view still pretty good. You can still see, obviously, the lights of uh, downtown. I'll turn the light off in a sec so you can get a better idea. I don't know if you can see it on camera, uh, but there are some handprints here on the window, and they look like uh, the handprints of a little kid. So, um, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but outside of the windows were pretty dirty. Inside of the windows are apparently dirty, too. I don't know if these actually open or not. Um, oh my god, they do actually do. Okay, you can actually open the window a little bit. So yes, you can. Um, I probably would not do it on this side, because let me actually turn the light off here. That's better. Now you can actually get a better view of downtown. Uh, right over there is the elevators, and they probably would make a fair bit of noise with the window open. But, uh, yeah, there's the lights in the evening, so obviously blackout curtains are definitely something you'll want. Now that I have turned the light off, as you might see, the hall light right now is the only light in here, uh, and that's because none of the lights in the room are on a switch. So when you walk in, especially if you had the blackout curtains shut, um, it would actually be pretty dark in here at night. Um, and let's see, your nearest lamp is probably this guy, which you gotta feel around for the switch in the middle, but you'll eventually find it and that comes on. So I'm not a terribly huge 
fan of that. I mean, you do get some, some decent light in the room without those lights off. But obviously I'll now have to turn on one of the uh, desk, or well not desk, but uh, bed lamps instead. Uh, I may have figured out why these are fake drawers, which again, I still think is a really, really goofy thing. There are some power outlets here on the side. I don't know if these work or not because I have not tested them. Uh, looks like they're somewhat childproof. Personally, if uh, those do work, I think it would have been nice to actually have some USB port outlets uh, in there. But hey, they're there. Looks like they are cabled up to work. I don't think you can see it. Uh, now this is really interesting. This is a first. I've not seen this before. Uh, not only uh, can you you know, throw the card on the bed or what not to choose not to have um, laundry or anything. You can actually forego housekeeping in full. Um, you hang this on the door and they will do no housekeeping whatsoever and they actually reward you for that. You can get um, five dollars for food and beverage or 500 star points. So that's actually not bad. That's kind of a really cool thing that I have not seen before, so nice job there, Weston. Turn that light back off. Uh, one thing I did not show off earlier is you do have an in-room coffee machine, uh, which does have Starbucks. It's the Pike Place Roast, which is okay. Uh, it's their medium roast, and that's a star let's see, that's Pike, Pike, and decaf pike, so you only have medium roast. I'm surprised there's no dark roast in there, but that's fine by me. Pike is honestly probably the only regular coffee I would drink from Starbucks, um, other than the reserve, obviously. So you do have a Mr. Coffee Machine. You have four half and halves, which I hope don't need to be um, chilled or anything. Now, I want to do an experiment now that it's actually dark. This was something my mom pointed out to me, uh, is that the water was yellow, so i got to set the camera down for this just a sec here to fill up the cup, and let's see, okay, so that does not look yellow to me now, um, and I don't know if that's because the water has been run a bit or whatnot, um, but it did look a bit yellow earlier, so I don't know if that's splitting or, or if the, you know, Lines just needed to be run or what, but that was a bit odd. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't really give you a good look at the bathroom too much again. Plenty of light. Um, you might be able to see in the ceiling several spots where they've touched up on water work. I don't think the fan actually worked. No, it didn't. Um, so there's that. You have a clothesline should you need it. You have the heavenly shower which I am not going to turn on and just hope that it works. I will certainly find out tomorrow morning. Um, but there you go. There's your options. Looks like it's one of the pull-ups. Um, my previous experience with these showers is they're very nice. So you can tell you've got a rain shower there and then You've got that guy, which you can, you know, you do have a hand spout as well. Uh, this is probably a little bit adjustable. Actually, no, that, that's a fixed height there, so that's still pretty high up. Uh, this guy, I think, moves a little bit. Uh, and that's where you would cycle, you know, obviously between the handheld and the overhead. And by the way, you can buy one of these for your house, uh, apparently now. Toilet is a pretty typical industrial toilet, and it flushes like any other, you know, public toilet, really. Uh, you do have one spare thing of toilet paper. Uh, you do have tissues. You do have a tissue box there, so there's that. Um, the amenities are the Heavenly Spa, so body wash, shampoo, body lotion, conditioner. What's this guy? mouthwash, hand soap, so amenities are pretty decently done. There's a little 
spiel about that. So yeah, if you want your house to be more like a western, you can now buy pretty much everything in the room actually at westernstore.com. Some of these say westerncom slash store, I would assume they go to the same place. Towels are plentiful. Uh, let's see, you have a little couple cotton swabs there. You do have your makeup mirror there. Power outlets, of course. Uh, this I thought was kind of funny. Um, for five dollars, you can borrow clothing uh, for the fitness center. Which I haven't actually found, so I don't know how that is, and I don't have really enough time to actually make any use of it. I don't know if there's even a pool or anything like that. You do have a hair dryer down there, and two more towels there, which are not terribly plushy. Let's see, was this any softer? Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. Yeah, okay, so fan of the bathroom doesn't work, um, unless it's humidity sensitive, but I'm not going to count on it. And then, of course, you have the sliding French door for the bathroom, which works pretty well. There's a little stop there before it bangs into the side, so that's good. And there's a stopper there as well. Yeah, that should still just about do it. Oh, that doesn't really stay in place. That should still work though. Yeah, so I'm only spending a night here for a night. Certainly a very nice room. I'm overall happy with it. There's a few touch-ups I think it could use. Uh, let's see. This was $24.89 and $225.40 for the night. So not bad. I'm here with uh, my parents and my aunt and uncle for an overnight. So not bad. It certainly beats uh, going all the way back up to Santa Rosa and the long drive that that would be. And I think we're doing some wine tastings and stuff tomorrow, so we're in a good spot. And, yeah, there's Union Square. I actually completely forgot about the Apple Store. I have not seen that. Maybe I'll take a peek at that in the morning. Should be pretty nice um, looking. I don't need anything from it, so didn't get anything. Of course, you have your iPhone 7 ad there. Nike store, which for the other elevator enthusiasts out there, does have Mitsubishi's. Uh, the elevators here are Oda's Compass, but you won't get very far without a room key. Yeah, oh wow, these windows are very drafty now that I stand over here. And actually that's uh, another thing that uh, just reminded about. The heating really only, you know, covers the room which honestly is all you need it to. But you know, if you need to get up in the night um, to go to the bathroom, this isn't really heated at all. This was really cold when I first turned the heat on. So there's that, I guess. But yeah, other than that, not bad. I would say overall quite happy with the room. I am gonna go to bed now, I think. So that'll do it. This is a Deluxe King at the Weston St. Francis in San Francisco. That'll do it.